All right, guys, uh, we're back again today. In this, this video, I told you a few videos back that we always have a pretty big dove hunt uh, every year. And uh, Noah's off in Michigan or right now and for some, for some work, and he, he won't be here to do anything with me this year uh, as far as helping uh, getting the field together and stuff. So I'm on my own pretty much, so me and Macy have been doing it. Uh, the past few days getting everything ready and uh, we got two properties this year we're gonna make one with and um, so I got everything bush hauled yesterday everything cleaned out and so here we are today I got a few videos from yesterday but not not a whole lot it was just bush hogging I got everything cut down and uh, today we going to um, we going to disc everything up and plant plant some uh, seeds and stuff like that. And uh, we got to fix this gate right here. And I'm gonna see if Morgan will come help me this afternoon at the second property. But I'm on my own on the first property today, and I still got to cut some more grass with the lawnmower around the around the area. But uh, anyway, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this little this little series of us making this dove field. Um, yeah, I hope hope it's gonna be good. So anyway, y'all stay tuned, and I'm gonna get right out. We gonna get to plowing and planting some seeds, and uh, yeah, I still do. I still do have to cut some grass, so we better get on it. All right, guys, uh, out we out the truck. We here at the first property now, and I got the I got the zero turn, and I got the Honda on here and i did buy something pretty cool the other day i bought a little um disc a little disc plow for the honda i'm gonna try it out but if it don't work then we'll just hook the disc up to the tractor and disc it disc it up but here it is here's the here's the fill from last year where we made that video uh, all that brown in there is where we had all them sunflowers and then we had just normal dirt right here and we had millet planted all the way over there and behind us here's that big tree that we sit in and then we got our uh big power pole we got a bunch of stuff um pieces of branches sticking off of it we got a piece of power line running from the big tree we sit under till all the way to that other tree in there but uh it's it's real clean uh we bush hog it and it was pretty thick but <clears throat> but uh since it was thick like that at the top it was almost almost like dirt at the bottom so it ain't gonna be too hard to disc up That's, i'm hoping that that disc for on my honda will work pretty good but well, i think what we're gonna do we're gonna leave this dirt like last year we're gonna plant some uh millet so just a few lane or a few few i don't know 20 yards of millet all the way to about the middle of this field we don't we don't have time for the the whole the whole field to be um sunflowers this year so i think we're gonna stop i think i'm about in the middle right here i'm gonna stop right here and then we're gonna plant i think three or four rows of corn however much we got and then the last we got i think enough for two rows right here sunflowers right there and then i'm and then i'm just gonna keep this cut this grass cut way down to the to the ground i think that's the that's the plan so uh and i think i'm gonna hop on the mower first and run everything over so y'all enjoy the time lapse
All right, guys. Uh, we finally, finally just got done cutting grass. It took a, took a little bit longer than I thought, but um, it does. It sure does look good, though. I mean, we got the entire, the entire place cut, and um, we do, we do got to move that one tree over there, right there. Uh, I found it while I was cutting grass. It's a pretty big tree, so we're going to move it. But man, while I was cutting. I seen doves everywhere. They was landing, especially in this tree, and then they were flying across the other field. And uh, they think I think they're gonna come in here this afternoon and eat eat everything I threw out. And that's what I thought about. So now I'm gonna have to till it up, throw the feed the seed out, and I might have to t uh, go over it again, and then run it over with the Honda and kind of pack it in the dirt to where they can't eat it all on top of the dirt. I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I think I'm gonna change my mind. Over here in the green area, that was all dirt last year. I think I'm gonna till it up, put sunflowers. Well, yeah, put the sunflowers right there. And then I'm gonna put the millet here. And I'm gonna put the corn, a few rows of corn over there. So, uh, yeah, we gonna, I'm gonna drink me a water. Uh, take me a little break and then we're gonna get to tilling i'm gonna try this new this new tiller out that we got uh hopefully it'll work it did rain two days ago so it's the it looks dry here but it's not it's not as dry as it normally is so uh, we're gonna try that we're gonna try that disc that disc plow and um yeah anyway so y'all stay tuned we just just put this uh, plow on here and the way the way that I seen everybody do it was they got some blocks and uh, drove up drove the ATV or the um, four wheeler on some blocks and then you put it on because you gotta have a little bit of pressure uh, on on the disc. But uh, yeah, we did it. We did that. Just drove it up on some blocks and then all you gotta do is drive it off the blocks and you're ready to go. So um, yeah, we we got it on there now. So. I'm gonna pull off the uh, the blocks, and we're gonna get to get to plowing or try see how it does. So. All right, guys. It's been a little while now, and uh, got done with the with the tilling, and it looks pretty good. But um, we we spreading the seed now, so we're gonna do. I think I'm gonna do millet around the outside and some corn and uh, sunflowers on the inside. So we're gonna get on to it. Morgan showed up, and he he's just uh, pushing that cedar away. So we're gonna try and get done pretty quick getting pretty hot but I did fix up the gate right here so the horses can't get in and uh, anyway we're gonna start to spread them now all right guys uh, we just me and Morgan just got done putting all the rows and spreading all the all the uh, I'll turn I gotta turn it sideways we just got done putting everything in the uh, in the field and I'm going to come back in a few days and check on everything. So, hope y'all enjoyed. And that's what we do for our, 
hard to feel and it was looks pretty good to me but uh hopefully everything grows and not too many birds eat the seeds but anyway I'm, i'll be back here in a few days so we'll, we'll see you then we're back out here uh day two and all we got left today is to um spread i got another bag of millet and uh, we're just gonna spread it around again because i didn't really spread it too great yesterday and then after that we're just gonna run it over pack it in with the truck and uh i think we'll be done so and then it's supposed to be a good good rain on saturday so i'm gonna give it about a week uh and come back and check on it and bring y'all along uh next week so y'all stay tuned for that and we're gonna get it spreading with that spreader again it's pretty rough with a hand spreader but it's all i got so uh anyway we're gonna get right to it and uh, enjoy enjoy the time lapse We just got done spreading with that spreader and we got full coverage on it everywhere i looked they seeds everywhere now so i feel a lot better about it and uh, all we gotta do now is run it over with the truck and and then uh wait for the rain so i'm gonna get to driving around All right, guys, we just got done uh, packing that, packing all that millet seed in. And it looks real nice. I, I really can't even see much of the seed uh, now that now that I'm looking at it. Now, there's a little bit, but it's mostly mostly packed in now. So that's real good. The birds ain't gonna eat it all. That's what I was worried about. But, um, oh yeah, it's looking, looking real good and uh should should be good i'm gonna, it's supposed to rain some um friday and saturday today's wednesday so hopefully it'll get a bunch of rain like we had the other day we, we had a big storm the other day but i'm hoping it'll get some rain like that and really get all this stuff to growing but anyway that should be all for this video and i'll check back in with you here in about two weeks when this uh when some of this stuff starts sprouting if we have a good bit of rain and stuff like that so anyway thank y'all for watching like and subscribe and uh go down in the comments and uh give me some feedback on this video it's my it's my first time doing this by myself with uh all all my my own tools but noah noah couldn't be here with us today but uh anyway we'll we'll catch you on the next video